welcome students to this new session uh, today we are going to answer a very interesting question the question is right there on the slide so we are talking about uh, a b school and uh, in particular we are talking about the placement process in a b school uh, for any b school by b school i mean a business school a management uh, school uh, or a management department uh, for uh, any b school uh, placement process is very important uh, by placement process this is a typical term that is used placement process placement process is essentially the recruitment process for mba students uh, where the uh, where the institute uh, the school or the department uh, facilitates various recruiters coming to campus and uh, uh, providing job opportunities to the graduating batch of the mba students so uh, the question that we are asking is will a student uh, get a job from this placement process uh, so this is the uh, this is the uh, the scenario that we are answering statistically speaking what we are trying to discuss in this session is uh, trying to predict uh, categorical outcomes uh, so the the way we have phrased the question clearly the answer is yes or no will a student get get placed probably the student will or perhaps the student won't so uh, uh, so uh, essentially we are asking a very categorical uh, question and therefore answer is yes no but the but the technique that we are going to discuss in this uh, session is going to be applicable to all categorical out outcomes need not necessarily be only yes no kind of an answer uh, so uh, we will discuss this as we go along so let us first discuss the placement process so uh, uh, as i said placement process is recruitment process for the graduating students where they have opportunities to sit for interviews and uh, perhaps get themselves a job so uh, obviously uh, the job opportunities uh, are available uh, are are uh, are to be chosen from the choices that are provided right so uh, probably the student may not get the dream job but she may uh, she may hope to get the best possible job uh, of her choice from the choices that are provided so sometimes the recruiters don't come to a particular campus uh, and therefore that job opportunity is not even available but the idea is can i can i can i pick up a job for myself right obviously we want uh, or we would expect uh, this uh, recruitment process or this placement process to be dependent on various student attributes uh, we would like to think that uh, academic performance matters uh, the prior experience of the student before joining the MBA program probably would matter. The kind of internships that the students have done uh, in their MBA curriculum, probably summer internship, winter internship at various organizations on various projects probably should have some uh, uh, bearing on the outcome of the placement process. Uh, and uh, that's what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to take uh, these uh, attributes and see whether uh, they they actually help us uh, uh, forecast the outcome of the placement process. And as I said, the response variable in our uh, question is the final question, right? Uh, uh, would the uh, would the student pick up a job? Uh, and that we said is binary. Student either gets a job or she doesn't get a job, right? Uh, however, uh, as I said earlier. Uh, the statistical method that we are going to discuss in this session is applicable to a scenario where the outcome is not only binary, but the outcome could have several categorical values. So, uh, uh, so uh, what I what I am saying is here the outcome uh, variable has only two possible categories, yes and no. But uh, the technique that we are discussing uh, is equally applicable to outcomes which has more than two categories. Right. But the, the, the example that we are going to discuss in this session obviously has a response variable, which is binary. So let's dig, uh, let's dig in further on this question of placement. So uh, we have already identified the student attributes. So let us describe them uh, sequentially. So uh, let us consider uh, these variables uh, that can help us uh, uh, sort of explain uh, the probability of a student getting placed. Uh, as I said, the academic performance should matter. So let us pick up uh, those variables. So let us say that uh, uh, the academic performance during the undergrad degree. Uh, remember, we are talking about the placement opportunities for the MBA students, which is a postgraduate degree. So uh, everybody who comes to the MBA program uh, has necessarily completed an undergraduate degree and the academic performance in that undergraduate degree probably would also have uh, some uh, uh, bearing on the placement uh, probability of the student during the MBA program. 
academic performance in the undergrad should matter the academic performance during the mba should matter right obviously uh, as we said earlier uh, the industry experience prior to joining the mba program uh, should matter uh, so uh, th there are a significant proportion of the students who come to the mba program with uh, some work experience uh, so after their undergraduate degree they probably work in uh, some organization for a couple of years three years uh, and then join the mba program and uh, what kind of experience they had prior to joining the MBA program probably would also have a uh, bearing on the placement chances. Uh, also uh, matters, uh, one more variable that should also matter uh, is the participation in co-curricular and extracurricular activities that uh, helps in overall development of a student. So uh, various organizations, various institutes have uh, co-curricular activities, uh, uh, debates, uh, uh, debate club, uh, uh, some uh, institutes uh, have co-curricular activities in the sense that there is a finance club, there is a marketing club, there is an operations club. So people who are interested in finance vertical of the management uh, studies uh, meet every so often, get the industry person and uh, interact with them, uh, uh, make presentations. So those are essentially co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities are uh, essentially the student festivals that many students participate in. Uh, Lastly, as uh, so, let us let us say that uh, all these variables are, are are scored on a scale of ten, uh, so that uh, we are equal on the scale values, equal on the scale values. And as I said earlier, uh, the response variable is uh, uh, whether the student got got any placement or not. Therefore, a binary variable, right? So uh, let us look at uh, this data in an Excel sheet, right? Uh, but before we go look at the data, let me put up a disclaimer. Uh, this is a pure synthetic data. This data is not from any academic institute. The example that we are discussing is only for the purpose of explaining the concept, right? So uh, uh, I request you not to associate this data set with any management program anywhere in this country or anywhere in this world. This is only synthetic data. Let me be very, very clear on this disclaimer. Let us not make any judgment on the business school or any business school uh, using this data. This data is only for illustrative purposes. So let us let us look at the Excel sheet as I said. Right. So this is the data. Uh, let me zoom it in. Let me zoom it in. So uh, this is the student placement data and uh, we I think have student data for 27 students from a particular batch 27 students. Uh, right. Uh, so as I said, the MBA CGPA is available, uh, the UG CGPA is available, their experience is also available, right? Uh, right now the values are, uh, as I said, uh, uh, anywhere between 0 to 10. Uh, so uh, every B school has a ranking method for the experience. Uh, and uh, let us say that uh, they have already ranked uh, the uh, students or the rated, or they have already provided the rating for a student on a scale of 10. Uh, they, uh, a B school probably has already done uh, a rating on a scale of 10 for uh, uh, students on their extracurricular activity participation, right? And uh, uh, this is uh, the final outcome. Uh, earlier in the slides, I had discussed only the placement uh, uh, result. Here I am going one step ahead. There is something called day zero placement. Doesn't matter what day zero placement is or day one placement is. Day zero placement means the zeroth day of placement. People who are uh, picked up, uh, uh, students who are picked up right on the first day of uh, the recruitment process opening. Generally, it is uh, uh, believed that uh, the, the uh, best of the recruiters come very early. And therefore, uh, if the students are getting uh, placed or if the students are getting job opportunities right on day zero, it's called day zero, it's not called day one for whatever reason, that's the terminology used. So, uh, so if uh, they are, uh, uh, they are, they are uh, able to pick up a job for themselves on day zero, obviously they are performing very well. So these are the final outcomes uh, for student one, student two, student three, student four, right? So uh, for example, student one has a CGPA, MBA CGPA of 9.1, a UG CGPA of 8.1. Extracurricular activities, this student has been uh, fairly good, 8.6 and experience also for 2.3, whatever the rating is, 2.3. And the final outcome is the student actually got placed on day zero. Uh, whereas student number three, uh, 
uh, who has a CGPA of uh, 7, so lesser than uh, the first student, 8 uh, UG CGPA, which is again lesser than the first student, but the experience is much better. Experience is uh, rated as 3.9 against uh, 2.3, so the experience is better. But the extracurricular activities are not so great, only 5.13 rating against uh, 8.6 ratings for student 1 and uh, unfortunately the student did not get placed on day 0. So this is the outcome, this is the outcome variable. Right, so what is the first order business? Uh, any statistical method that uh, we, we want to employ, what is the first order business? The first order business is essentially to code this output. So let us, since we are interested in student getting placed, let us call anybody who has placed as 1 and anybody who doesn't get placed as 0. Right, let us do that. So this is the coded output. Okay, so this is the same data. Uh, essentially the same data, uh, nothing has been changed in this portion, nothing has been changed in this portion. However, the outcome variable, the outcome variable now has been coded as 1 or 0, 1 when the student got placed and 0 if the student did not get placed. Okay, uh, I hope uh, you have understood the data. So uh, essentially four variables, uh, MBA CGPA, UG CGPA experience and extracurricular activities. These are the student attributes we are hoping uh, may explain the placement result and the placement results are essentially uh, 1 if the student got placed, 0 if the student did not get placed. Okay, let us go back to PPT and define the set of variables mathematically. So uh, once again, uh, once you have seen the Excel sheet, uh, the disclaimer is uh, this is synthetically generated data and it has uh, it was not taken from any real life uh, academic institute. So essentially what are we asking? We are asking uh, uh, what are we interested in? Uh, we, are, uh, we are interested in building a model that can help us predict the chance of a student uh, in a placement process. So for a student, uh, if we know the attribute values, if we know uh, the student's academic performance during UG program, student's academic performance during MBA program, student's uh, extracurricular activities, uh, uh, student's uh, prior internships, uh, experiences, uh, can we then uh, uh, forecast uh, the, uh, the whether the student will get placed or not. So we essentially want to build that engine, we want to build that statistical model, that's what we are interested in. We are, trying to, uh, we are trying to build a model that can help us predict the outcome of the placement process given the input data. Right. So let us uh, define the variables. Uh, let x1 be the academic performance during MBA. Uh, let uh, x2 uh, be the industry experience prior to joining the MBA program. x3 may be the academic performance during the undergraduate degree and x4 may be the participation uh, in the co-curricular and extracurricular activities. So these four are uh, x variables. And uh, our outcome variable, let us call that y. Uh, so let us say that y is equal to 1 if the student actually gets placed and 0 otherwise. So now uh, we have identified the variables. So we have defined the variables uh, mathematically x1, x2, x3, x4 and y. Uh, let, us, let us jump into it. Right. So uh, this is where uh, once we have understood the data, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, wrap up this session and continue with the next session where we actually start working with the data.